So what we're going to do is look at um, putting a wireframe mesh for a wire render over top of your lighting that you have and um, <laughs> kind of get that for that uh, transition look of seeing you can transition from being wireframe or um, you know single like gray to wireframe or whatnot. So let's just start off and see how we're going to do this process. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go to my polygons and what I'm going to do is create just a ground plane to put down. Um, nothing special. And then what we're going to do just to give us something with some geometry, uh, we're just going to create a sphere to put so that we have some geometry to see the wireframe mesh on top of this. And then also what I'm going to do just to show you how it's going to fall with the, the lighting, um, we're going to make a basic light so that we can just see how everything's going to kind of fall together with the lighting setup. And you can just use your own lighting setup when you do this. It works pretty well. Um, so we're going to go up to create and we're just going to put in a basic uh, directional light I think for this. All right, that should work pretty good. And let's go ahead and actually just turn the shadows on for it too. All right, so right now, if we take a look at it and just do a quick render, this is what we end up getting out of it from just a quick uh, render. Now, what's really neat about this tutorial is it's actually going to be, instead of a Maya software render, we're actually going to be able to render this, uh, this wireframe in Mental Ray, which means whatever lighting setup you have or whatever you're using for, um, for your render, you can keep all of those parameters the same and it's just going to render your, your wireframe on top of that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this into... Um, turn it into mental ray which it looks like I gotta turn it on in my in my plugin manager here so give me a second there we go alright so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and just create a new material on your mesh that you have and you are going to make this just a standard Lambert material. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and name this wire. All right. And what you're going to want to do is click on the, this button here to kind of bring you into the object um, where we can see the mental ray. And you're going to open up mental ray. Um, what that's going to do now is allow us to see this contours area here. Um, and what contours is, 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 is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to be like a contour line, so it's going to show, it's going to add lines to where your uh, wire mesh is. So this, these lines that we see here is where that's going to get added. So um, if you enable that, it turns on all these parameters for this. Um, by default, it's set for white. And basically, that's just going to make your wireframe white. Um, this can be any color you want if you want to make it green or blue or whatever. I like to have it set to black. And then um, your width is how thick that line is going to be displayed when it's rendered. I found that a good size is about a 0.3 um, or a 0.2 gives you a nice thin line. Looks pretty nice on your, on your wireframe. So uh, once you have this setting here, um, leave everything else default for the alpha and leave it with absolute width. You don't have to change any of that. Um, and you can go to your render settings. Um, in the render settings, we do want to switch it to mental ray. And when mental ray pops up, we're going to go into the features option of it. And under features, we should be able to scroll down and there's this contours option at the bottom of features. You want to go ahead and enable contour rendering. And um, 
When you enable contour rendering, you can also do this oversample. I'm going to set my oversample to about 10, which should give me a nice crisp, clean line. And then also one, one part to remember is we want to go to this draw by property difference area. And because right now if I go to render this, what's going to happen is even though I have enable contours on both things, it still doesn't know how to draw those contour lines on the object that you have selected. So we have to tell it how to draw it. And when we do that, if you select around all poly faces, it knows that every polygon is going to have a contour line around it so that it knows what to do. So obviously you can come in. I have my custom settings. I'm not going to change any of this stuff, but you can have all of your render settings that you want set to this. Now if I come in and I do my render, voila, we have lines over your, your render. And let's go back and just to kind of show you this, We'll come back one more time and go into my wireframe to where I can see my uh, my line width again. And let me set it to like a 1 just so you can see what this looks like. See how thick that is now. Um, we can zoom in a little closer. It looks a little thick. So let's come in a little closer to it. Something like this and we'll re-render it again. So we can see how that looks. And let's bring it back down to like a 0.3. And we'll save this one. Just take a look at uh, what this looks like. So you get this nice crisp set of lines. And we can toggle back and forth just to kind of see how that's going to shape. Also, like I was saying before, you can come in and give it this cool kind of fluorescent green look to it. We can render it again. And just get that cool for us and green. So yeah, that's uh, really all there is to rendering a wireframe on your mesh. Now you just add that uh, wireframe texture to all of your assets in your in your scene, and you can easily render that. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.